Hello YouTube and thanks for watching. You know every now and again I like to change the way I do things or the equipment I use. And this is done for many reasons. So in this video I'm going to show you what equipment I am changing to. And I'll do that right after this. Well here it is, the newest equipment I've changed to. My newest antenna from Chameleon Antennas. What I received today is the Cha Hybrid Mini, the Cha Mill Whip, the Cha Mill Whip Extension, the Cha Mount with Dipole, and when you buy the Cha Hybrid Mini, you also get the 60 foot wire. It's 14 gauge stainless steel hardware. Yeah, the Cha Hybrid Mini. It operates on frequencies 6 meters through 160 meters. Power rating is 500 watts sideband and 250 watts CW. Uses a SO239 and its connection or mounting configuration is the standard 3 8 by 24 thread. One of the reasons I switched to this antenna is because of its strength, it's sturdy, and again, you just look at how it's built. We got stainless steel. Everything. It's this thing's solid. It's not going anywhere. Nothing rattles inside. I mean, nothing. This thing is solid as a rock. No pun intended. When you buy the Cha Mini or the Micro, you get the 60 foot wire. It's 14 gauge with stainless steel hardware on it and it comes with a uh, built-in strain relief which is great and it comes on a winder. The next item is the mill whip. Again, solid construction, Got pressed in fittings, no screws. And this goes to 10 feet, 8 inches, weighs about a pound, and it can handle up to 1500 watts on sideband. Now you can use this antenna by itself on 6 through 10 meters. If you connect it with this one, the Cha Mill Whip extension, you'll get an extra 6 feet 6 inches, which will bring your overall length to 17 feet 4 inches. And again, solid. These parts aren't going anywhere. No screws to come loose. And it too will handle 1500 watts. And when used with the regular whip, you can go from 6 meter to 160 meter. Another advantage is when using the jaw mount. Or the jaw mount, you also get the dipole mount. And they also include Allen key. But like I saw on Com's Prepper, I think I'm going to take his advice and spray paint this fluorescent orange or something because, yeah, you drop this in the field, you're going to have a devil of a time finding it. it. Almost disappears on my rag here. Nice stainless steel, polished, looks good, looks rugged, great construction. But I was saying about the dipole mount, if you purchase another set of the mill whip and the mill whip extension, you can make yourself a dipole that is now 34 feet 6 inches in length. Now each section on the uh, mill whip is about 26 inches long, so you have about 6 sections there, and very sticky velcro. 
So I'll be showing more videos on all the different ways you can configure this antenna. And if you look on their website, chameleonantenna.com, and look at the owner's manual, there's it seems to be dozens of ways from cars, picnic tables, using wires, the infinite amount of ways you can use this. So I suggest going there for some ideas and then I'll be showing you how to do some of them here on the channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch. If you've not done so, please subscribe and take a look at some of these other videos. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them below. Thanks again.